Hi, my name is Hermann and I give you a walkthrough on Hermes, our mastering router. With Hermes, you can get the most out of your processing gear. You can connect up to eight external stereo processors to Hermes and then you can freely decide about the routing of your audio through all of these processors. That's a huge difference in comparison to working with a patch bay. Usually you don't want to spend the time doing that. So you have one favorite route through your one favorite chain um, through your processes and that's it. And you usually don't touch it. But we think that's pretty much waste and you can get so much more out of your equipment when you have the possibility to freely route through all of these processes the way you want it and then listen and compare with the flip of a button and that is what Hermes does. Now as you can see we have eight insert points all relay hard bypassed here with these buttons so they're labeled A up to H and we have connected a few products here the, the PQ mastering equalizer we have a PASIC here and iron and we also have the Gemini um, in here. And this is a specialty I wanted to come back to later in this video. Now, if you want to create a routing through the processes, what you do in the first place is you press the new button. And then you say, okay, my, the way audio should go, like first through the PASEC and then through iron and then through PQ, just as an example. Then you press store and you select one of the three buttons here. Let's say we put this on number one. Now in, you want to compare that with a setting that is slightly different. So you just want to flip the position of the PQ and the PASEC. So it would be like this, new, one, three, and two. And we store that to number two and now with that flip of a button you can just change the position of that now imagine you have eight processes you can do that with eight in the whole series you can also create two sections of four for example so that you can can compare two chains with different compressors different equalizers a and b a chain of four processes that's pretty unique one special insert feature is inserting an MS processor for mid and side processing. I guess I'm sure you know what that is. So the left channel will operate only the mid information and the right channel will operate the side information. Now we've inserted our Gemini uh, mastering MS processor into G and H, whereas G is going to become the MS encode and H is the MS decode. Now I want to create a series in which my PASEC and my iron are working in MS mode. And this is how you do it. So you create a new series and you say you the first want to use the PQ for left and right. Then you go into the MS encode. Now you're going to insert the PASEC and the iron. And then you come back and do the MS encode to have a stereo signal again. And we want to store that as option number three. So you can go through all of these options like this. With the flip of a button, you can compare your settings. With compressors, it is pretty common to use parallel mixing, meaning you can drive a lot of compression and return only a portion of it that you mix with the original. That gives a different sound character and that's always good to achieve. N to get a, a processor to, or a compressor into um, parallel mix, that's pretty easy to do with Hermes. You got two parallel mix sections, section number one and section number two. And you can freely assign a parallel mix to, let's say, a compressor. And the way you do that is the following. You first look out for the position and you, you 
press the position button here for the first parallel mix section. Now it says A, meaning to processor A. No, that's our PQ, I don't want to do that. The second one is the MSN code, I don't want to do that. Third, PASEC, also not, but on position number four, that's my iron. So here I want to store it, I want to have it. And you can see there is a dot behind the four. That means you have a parallel mix inserted into that position. Then you engage the parallel mix button with that on. Switch up here. And then you create or you set your wet and dry level. Fully counterclockwise is dry, meaning parallel mix is pretty much um, only the original input signal, no compression at all. And if you go full wet, it's the maximum what your compressor is set to do. If you have level differences there, not a problem. You just engage the gain switch up here and you can compensate a gain offset with that button. So all in all, you got this twice. So a second one, if you would choose to have a second parallel mix, let's just assume you would do that on position number one. You just press this first and you see the dot illuminates behind the one. If we would proceed, you will see that if I now go to four, four is jumped over because that's already occupied and it immediately jumps to processor H. So, but I don't want to use this now because I only use it with a compressor and I have just the iron here in my example. You probably notice that every time you press one of the bypass buttons here, you see the name of the processor. You can edit that for all of the processes. And let's say you would take processor that is going to go into insert, num insert C. So we're going to press store for two seconds. Now they all blink and you select the one you want to label. Then let's call it PQ2, just because it's very short. P, enter, Q, enter, two, enter. No, we don't want to have a second two. So that's it. And you go store. And now if we're going to make a new, it would start with the PQ2, for example, and you add some others. And you store them there. Here you go. That's how you do it. So finally, the all bypass button switches all of the processes that you've been using, including the parallel mixes on and off with just one button. That's pretty handy. So that's the Hermes. Hope you liked it and um, see you behind the desk. Bye bye.